Hey folks, my name is David Falzgraf, and I'm the founder and lead sound designer here at sundaysounds.com. We're really excited to be able to provide you with high quality song specific main stage patches for today's most popular modern worship songs. Using our main stage patches, you can nail these songs live, even if you're not using backing tracks and you're the only keyboard player. The great thing about all our main stage patches is that you don't need any expensive third party plugins or software. You just need Main Stage 3 running on any modern Mac computer, and you can use these patches live. We've designed this patch at the original tempo and in the original key of the song, but there's a video tutorial on the product page that you can check out after you've purchased the patch if you need to do the song in a different key or at a different tempo than the original. To make things even easier for you, we've pre-mapped this patch to our Sunday Keys Main Stage template. So if you have Sunday Keys, you can just drag and drop this patch right into your concert and it will be pre-mapped to the extra section. There's no setup work or mapping required. Just drag it in, and you're ready to play. Now, I'm gonna hand this over to Ryan, who's gonna walk you through the various sections of the patch to teach you how to use it to nail this song live. Let's take a look. Hey everyone, this is Ryan from Sunday Sounds. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at our main stage patch for Be Still off Hillsong's There Is More album. We're going to play this in the original key of F, and so as David mentioned in the intro, if you do need to transpose this patch, you can head over to the webpage for this song patch, and we've got a transposition video right on there. Now before we get started, I need to point out that we use the mod wheel in this patch, and we're going to use that to move in and out between different sections of the song. So as we move this up and down, we're fading in and out different sounds. If you don't have a mod wheel, that's okay. You can head over to our website. And on our blog, we've got a video tutorial that's going to show you how you can set up a fader or a knob to work in place of the mod wheel, so you can still have full functionality of the patch. Now, if you don't have a fader or a knob, you can always pick up something like a Korg Nano Control and add that to any keyboard, and you'll be good to go. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So, playing this patch is actually pretty easy. We've got a four chord progression, and we're going to just repeat that throughout the whole entire song. The only thing we're really going to be changing is where we play it octave-wise on the keyboard and then where the mod wheel is at. I'm going to go ahead and show you the intro. We're going to start with the mod wheel down and then we'll go ahead and just break down those chords. And that would sound like this. So you can see those four chords at the top of the screen there. Our intro, we're actually going to repeat that progression two times. And that's actually going to be pretty much the case with every part in this song. So it's going to be two times through the chords, um, with one exception, and I'll throw that out there when we get there. Now, we have the mod wheel down, and what happens when that is down is in this range here, we just have the pad, um, that, that sub bass kind of pluck sound. Now, whenever we move the mod wheel just up a bit, so about 15 to 20 percent, anywhere in that range, we're going to bring in a piano. It's going to sound like this. We're going to bring that piano in for the first verse, and then as we want to build, you can just add in the upper octave here. going to bring in some string parts. Now as we move from that first verse into the first chorus, it's actually going to be the same idea, just those four chords. Now eventually we're going to get to our instrumental, and so this is the time where we only play that progression one time, and we're actually going to add a part in on the right hand. Now it's going to be in this range right here, from this F to this C. I'll go ahead and play through that. Um, by the time you hit the instrumental, you probably want to move the mod wheel up about 50 just to build up some of those pads. Now for this first instrumental, we're going to jump from being in this octave range, the full octave in the left hand, just moving up an octave, and then this is going to take out that um, the lower range bass pulse and just give us a, a pad feel. And that's going to be a rule for the whole song, no matter where the mod wheel is at. If you ever want to go back to just pad and then some basic strings, all you got to do is move that left hand up an octave. It's going to bring, just cut that sub bass, bring everything down. So I'll go ahead and play through that instrumental, and it sounds like this. And 
And so when we play that F, we're back in to our second verse. Now in the right hand, we're just playing this piano part here. Second verse is going to be really similar to how we started it, just doing an octave. Now, if you want, you can push the mod wheel up um, to build up some of those pads, open the filters as well. The only thing that we don't want to do yet is push the mod wheel all the way near the top. So actually, I'll sweep through and just show you how we build. I will show you what happens at the very top. It's going to be this ARP section that comes in. We want to save that for the end of the song. So this is what the full range of the mod wheel is going to sound like. So we want to be about in this range here, where the synths start to get a little bit brighter. As we move into our second chorus, we're actually going to add in that right hand part as well. It's going to be a little bit different. We're not going to go up to the C this time. So I'll play through that second chorus. It sounds like this. Once again, we're going to play that chord progression through two times, and then we move into another instrumental. Now this instrumental is going to be pretty similar to our first one, except we're not going to play that C, we're going to play that it the same way that we played in the chorus. So just alternating between those, the B and the A. As we go into the bridge, we're going to take the right hand and go back up to the C as we did in that first instrumental and start to build. So this is where we can go ahead and start to push the mod wheel all the way up. I'll give you an idea of how that would sound. So for the end of the song, we're actually going to jump back into just a pad feel. So as you can see, all I had to do was move up an octave in the left hand and just drop out the right hand part. It takes us back to that pad feel. Now you can use the mod wheel to kind of dial in the tone of those pads. And that's all dependent on how you want to be in the mix and how your band is doing the song. So that is really all the parts of the song. Really straightforward, same four chords, uh, they keep repeating. I hope this tutorial has been useful for you. I am Ryan, again, from Sunday Sounds, and we will see you next time.